All right, so I'm here for a water leak. Get my bag in. Let's get up. What's happening? or the rooftop unit and the right behind it. See water is on the drain. See water is over here on the curb. And I know inside it's running down the dock. And inside I got water coming out of the drains. Got water in the tray here. No water around this one. So I'm gonna think possibly it's the one over there just cause I'm not seeing evidence of overflow. But I mean, I got overflow here. Due to the overflow, let's get in and see. Probably a plugged up drain. So I'll go right here. I usually maintain this roof, but because I wasn't here for a while, I don't know if maintenance was done this year or not. Okay, loose. And I like these thick 516 so when you get units that the doors are all stripped up these can go right into the holes where the old screws were and you don't got to go to like a 3 8 or anything Let's see what we got going on in here that 3 8 so boom like I said ah, okay Creates, I think, fell into the abyss called my tools. No, okay. Happens when you're working late every friggin' day. Life of an HVAC tech. Our bag gets a little messy. But hey, it's the life we live, the life we chose. I got a friggin' union right there. But this drain is too small at half inch. It should be three quarter. I don't know who redid it in half inch. I mean, not three quarter. It should be one inch pipe on this thing. But this has been here for a few years. Somebody redid the piping. It froze over the winter. Used to have all those clear, crappy, easy traps that people like. And someone came around and popped these in. Uh, let me shut this thing down. Great view from the rooftop. These things last year were all on high head. I rode them up for a power wash. Somebody else came back. I kind of hit them real fast when I was here, but Unfortunately, I wasn't the guy. So I was too busy to get here to just power wash them. I love the power washing jobs though. 
friggin' easy. So let's see. We're gonna make a mess. We're gonna have a bit of a water leak. Which is gonna make me regret popping it because what I want is when I pop this for the friggin' water to push the crap out. But I'll bring a jug of water up here. I mean, even though there is water, it looks like coming out of the end of this pipe a little bit, but, or maybe it's just traveling around the other one. Well, let's just see. Did somebody glue it or is it friggin' just hanging out? There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Never glue. It was glued, but. All right, now, if only I had a zip tie. Pa pow and it's clear. Zip ties are the best drain tools as far as I'm concerned. I know a lot of guys are like, no, use this, use that. Hey, use whatever works for you, dudes. Whatever works for you, dudes. Let me use what works for me. You guys use what works for you. And together, we just get shit done. Well, you get your shit done, I get my shit done. I gotta get my paycheck. So I gotta make sure my shit gets done. All right, I don't see like a zip tie or anything. This is gonna be too soft. Hopefully we don't have a water leak because somebody ripped some silicone off somewhere. Ah, here, let's just see. Bang! Oh no, it's not the trap. Ah, oh, okay. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, it's right here. So I won't even need a zip tie. Let's just, let's see. Could it be the union? Could it be the friggin' union messing everything up? Because it closes down a little. I'm wondering if the top part of the union. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's friggin' the union doing the friggin' damage. That's why I avoid unions. Those some of us, they create all this havoc and now my hands are gonna be friggin' filthy. You filthy friggin' animal. How dare you, Legionnaire's disease, your own friggin' hands. What's wrong with you? I'll get a filter puller. Someone didn't put back where it was supposed to be. Okay, here we go, here we go. We're gonna pop, pop, pop it. Pop, pop, pop it. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, come on, dude. Let me fold it more. Hopefully it doesn't pop itself now. This thing's too flimsy anyway to be a good filter puller. Done, 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 done. Boom. Okay. So it's gonna go in and come out. Ba -ba! There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Water leak is done, and let's flush this while we're at it. And redirect the water that way. Now let's flush out the whole friggin' line. Boom. So now we should get good water flow out here. Boom. Push any crap in there out. All right. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know why we got friggin' three quarter there. It should be one inch all the way, but one of their maintenance guys did that and they don't want to friggin' have us change it back to where it should be. But now, what is on top here? Is that oil? Or is that just friggin' slime? That's some weird, weird friggin' growth I'm not gonna mess with. That's probably that lesions air stuff you don't want. Who knows? I mean, come on, what's growing inside here? I mean, we got friggin' seaweed or whatever. We got friggin' aquatic insects in here from the ocean. Okay, not the ocean, but I mean, look, I mean, he's friggin' an underwater friggin' something. Let me move before he eats me, but look how much water's still coming out of this beast. Those unions, they reduce, so they don't allow the full flow. So, well, this is an easy one, guys. But, I mean, one thing I love about this roof is this view. All right, this unit here is the computer room. They have this fancy German unit. I forget its name in there, but this is like a Sanyo or a Mitsubishi up here. This is an old Sanyo connected to it, but it's like a German friggin' 
unit in the basement. It's friggin' the blower motor, I think, was like two or three grand for it when we had to change it. Friggin' busted apart. It's like this tall, thin, slim thing. Oh, what a friggin' beautiful day it is. What a nice day. Yeah, I do a lot of these buildings right here. They keep me busy. A lot of stuff in the area. I mean, this one's only got, it's got a giant rooftop. You can't see it but behind these trees. And then it's got three rooftops in the front for the offices, but this is all like a big like manufacturing thing, warehouse. So I guess they don't care about the guys in the back. They only have the exhausts. But let's see if I can spot, because it's got a big, it's got like outdoor wind protection and everything. But I mean, nah, you can't really see through the trees. Yeah, I mean, that one keeps me pretty busy. But yeah, so, I mean, it says Sanyo, I thought. Uh, no, that one says Sanyo. This one says Mitsubishi. But it is what it is. I mean, you gotta love the old Mitsubishis. They're Yorks, as far as I'm concerned. Possible Lennox, but no. I mean, I think they're more York units. Well, guys, I had fun. I'm getting out of here. I got like a six hour maintenance to jump on now. And then I got another friggin' who knows if I have service calls or what pop up. I'm not sure what today's weather is supposed to be. So I never pay attention to weather because one thing I don't wanna know is what the day is gonna screw me with. I just wanna friggin' know like, okay, if I go to work, I'm gonna work, and like, I'm gonna come home hopefully at a decent time. But like these things, I know a lot of guys like these, but they always freeze and crack around here. They don't last. So I'm not really a fan. Like right now we're 69 degrees. Oh nice, it's only gonna go to 81 today. That's friggin' sweet, because we've been seeing above 90 every friggin' day. So yeah, we're going back to 90 on Thursday. 86 Friday, 82, so it's gonna cool off for the weekend. All right, they, it was supposed to be raining, but now it looks like it'll be nice, and the rain comes next week. Oh well. Well guys, I'm out. Peace.